Good evening, everyone. It is Tuesday of Easter 3, and we're using as our prayer the prayer at the close of the day, page 298, in the Lutheran Service Book 298. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord. To sing praise to your name, O Most High. To herald your love in the morning. Your truth at the close of the day. Let us hear a reading from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, where he writes, I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows. And I know that this man was caught up into paradise, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows. And he heard things that cannot be told, which man may not utter. On behalf of this man, I will boast. But on my own behalf, I will not boast, except of my weaknesses. Though I should, if I should wish to boast, I would not be a fool, for I would be speaking the truth, but I refrain from it, so that no one may think more of me than he sees in me or hears from me. So, to keep me from being conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The song that we're going to sing today has a line in it. They are weak, but he is strong. One of the paradoxes of our life is that we are weak, but yet are strong. But we're only strong in Jesus Christ. If we look around us, we're surrounded by reminders of our weakness. There's so little that we can do, or under the present restrictions, so little that we're allowed to do. And so we feel our weakness. We don't feel like we're strong at all. We feel like our, like our church is weak as well. But we need to remind ourselves that our God is not weak. That in fact, his strength is made perfect in our weakness. When he wrote to the Ephesians, St. Paul wrote this, I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power? God has put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all 
in all. But Jesus knew about weakness too. We think we're weak. We think we are helpless. He was helpless as he hung on the cross. He was dying, in fact, he did die. So he experienced the weakness of our mortal flesh and the weakness of death. But that wasn't the end for him, and it's not the end for you and I that we are weak. For he is strong, and he rose from the dead, and he lives and reigns to all eternity. And as St. Paul says to the Ephesians, that same strength that was used when he raised himself from the dead and was raised and resurrected is the same power that he gives us to save us. So as you think about your weakness today, be like St. Paul who consoled himself with the word of God that yes, he was weak, but God's grace was sufficient for him at that time, and it's sufficient for you and me now. And God's strength is made perfect in that weakness, and for that we glorify him. Let us sing the words of Jesus loves me, this I know, which is number 588, the hymn to which I referred a moment ago. 588. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gate to open wide. He has washed away my sin. Let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Let us share in the confession of our faith in the words of the Apostles Creed. Oh, um, you might have to uh, look it up if you don't know it by memory. It's not on page 298, but it may be in the back of your hymn book. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver, deliver us from evil. evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Visit our dwellings, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank, thank you, my, my Heavenly Father, Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day, and I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God bless.